Right, we're in the care job this morning. Excuse the bed here. <laughs> so basically just making up food to take. So I've knocked up some pasta. I've already had a bowl of porridge. We're gonna do American eggs as well so that we're going out full and then taking out a good batch. We've got sauce already prepared. We're running out of like dump something to carry it in. So what I think I'll do is decant the last of this cabbage. In fact, I might even take this with, you know, I might just add this into the pasta, freeing the space up for this, and then take this as a, as a lunch tub. So what we'll do with that is we'll just get that straight in the bowl because it's already cooked. Then we're gonna mix this up. Basically, we're adding cooked veg to pasta and sauce to use it up. And then we'll microwave it when it comes to eating. Because it's been in the fridge for a while, certain bits will be stuck in the corners, you know? So we'll just get that out. This is veg that had been fried off well before even the last batch of cooking was done. It smells fine, it's quite garlicky, which is what, what we like. So that's just gonna go, actually, do we wanna put the pasta in first? Let's put so much in. I don't know how much we need to use for one day, but I haven't very next before we go as well. Let's portion kind of half in for now and like reassess. So we'll put half of that in. Half of that veg, and then we've got sauce with, with veg in as well. So if you mix that up now, I would rather use whole grain pasta, whole wheat pasta, but um, I'm using what I had in the cupboards. So a lot of what I've gotten from the cupboards has been like from the pantry, from um, from a food bank or food banks prior to like being working again. So that's just pasta and veg mix. And then we've got sauce. And I don't believe it's necessary to reheat this sauce, I don't think. I don't really know. Should we cook off a portion of this? And then add, let's cook the sauce off and then add the pasta that we haven't mixed into that sauce afterwards, creating like a double dish. So let's put that on for, let's put it on for five. That should loosen it up plenty. We can't do American eggs right now. Well, that's, because we've only got one microwave. But we'll run some pasta through. I do have my water though. So I've been in two minds whether or not I want to drink like a decaf coffee this morning because I like them and to kind of give myself a good feeling before I go to work. It's crazy foggy. Look how foggy it is. I'm pretty tired today. Um, but I, I try and get myself up early. I start at 8 o'clock. And I, I got up early, so what time are we on now? 6.16. See how much light I've got on as well. Like This is what I do to get up. I get up. I've got my press up handles over here. We try and go down low and then, and then explode up. That's what we do. We leave the flip flops on because you want something that's not going to hurt your knees when you're doing your, your work. So basically, you come down slowly, explode up. Come down slowly, explode up. It's probably going to be easier if I come back a little bit so you can see it. Here we go. And I turn the neck so I don't get neck strain. So going one way or the other. So that's basically the routine. I try and do kind of 25, 
22, 22, 20. That kind of reps at the moment. But bearing in mind we started off far, far lower. We've been working with that torn rotator cuff after surgery. Uh, it's getting better all the time. Especially when we've been hanging. You know, hanging from uh, like a pull-up bar. Like the, the body weight pulling it. So it doesn't like to go up too high, but it's getting there. On its own, it can go like that high right now. It aided, it can do much more. So it's getting there, definitely. I wonder if that'll do to mix that. And we can get the American egg on. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's come out of the fridge, so it's not freezing cold. So let's put half of that in the bowl. And we're gonna mix the other half into the already cooked pasta. It's probably a mistake putting that over the hob I've just used recently because the base of the pasta's probably been sticking in that, but maybe the little pan cools down quickly. And what I'm talking about here is we cook the pasta on that hob there. Still got some heat to it, but not too much. I think the bigger ones heat up much more. So um I'm just trying to find where I can rest this. So I've got a brand new quad lock case coming for my phone and that should prevent a problem like the last time, like my last phone case cracked after I've been using it um, on the EUC and had a little tumble and um, I found that I shouldn't cheap out on that case because the quad lock case I had on the Huawei P40 Pro, it never got a single scratch on the screen and that one had loads of different drops in traffic on road, you know, um, not in traffic but like on the road, do you know what I mean, so it does just explain that the, the desire or the need to have a good case on it and the case i've got on it now the ones that, that caused the cracks when it's been cracked um basically it didn't have the strength in the corner to be able to hold its its shape it ended up cracking upon impact and made the phone screen crack well that was still a 25 30 quid amazon case so it's not that much cheaper but cheap enough to cause a major accident to the phone once it's landed which is just a shame because it costs on the insurance to claim on it it's inconvenient it causes problems everywhere when you don't have your phone if you need it so anyway we're mixing this in as you can see here and then I need to get the American eggs on so let's put them on now obviously I'm not going to be able to time it when I'm concentrating on something else to the exact 52 seconds you want but we'll find a way And what we normally want to do as well is, there's loads going on here. This is what happens. What you normally want to do here, try and get the right angle. Right, what you're going to want to do is put some kind of plate down, just so that when you're cracking the eggs, there's going to be egg all over the table as well. So, without too much faffing on. One. I found with eggs, the less, the less faff you do, the easier it all is. And obviously the more you do actually crack, the better. Sometimes you will get a little bit of shell. You can generally, kind of, if you're skilled, which I'm not necessarily, get rid of the bit of egg shell. You've got to get your finger on top of it. And then get it out. Bearing in mind, my hands are clean. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. We're just gonna leave it. Egg um, birds have it, don't they? They have eggshell. It's never done anyone any harm, has it? It's that perfectionist, that pedantic part of you that just wants to have everything perfect. Right, let's hide him in. Whack them on. So now we can wash this dude out. We've got the cheese grater all ready for the American eggs. We've already got the seasoning. We went out the SK and got a new pepper mill, so that's something that's positive. I think what we'll do for now is just drop our toast, turn him down a little bit because he's been defrosting for a while, and we'll just finish mixing our original batch. This is what we're going to have for work today. Obviously, there's plenty there, but that's that's better than not having enough. The good thing about doing prep like this is it's only ever going to get used. It's only ever going to get used, so there's, there's no real problem there. Let's pour the other half of this other veg that we need to get used up. And let's put this one egg in the fridge. So 
getting rid of a box telling us that we need more than we export it out. That's, that's good to do. And the prep that's been done, the time that's been taken to cook this stuff in the past, makes it so worth it. So that's gone in for a minute, the American eggs. So like that's often the case going in for longer. So let's just take some of our seasoning first. This here. Right. Salt and pepper, garlic, basil and mix so We don't need much of each one. And let's take the eggs. I wonder if there's a way that you can see it better without the phone falling down. Not really. Trying to like wedge it somehow so you can see it better. Could do in the kitchen later on, that would be a start. How's that? Salt. Not too much. Pepper, as much as you like. A little bit of garlic granules. Be more helpful if you could see the the sprinkling. Brilliant. Basil. Mix herb. I quite like the name herb, you know. Like I remember bringing that up with um, Laurie's mom. And I say no chance. And then even when I was shadowing for the um, Nurture Care Northeast job and saying to a couple of people, you know, Louie wasn't interested in that name. I still, I still have a, a like for it. I've seen it on. Um, do you know the poster for um, Singing in the Rain? It's, it's in my grandma's kind of middle room, the, the room that I would have been in when I was staying. Um, and. I see somebody who worked on Singing in the Rain has that name, so it kind of comes from there anyway. We want 50-ish seconds for that. This toast is done, we'll put it in for a touch longer because we want it to be a slightly more toasted experience. And then what we'll do is we'll take our plate and get ready to plate up. We're going to put pesto on again because it's quicker and it tastes nice and it uses the pesto up. You don't want pesto sitting idle for long if you keep using it and mixing it and so on. But um, pesto has a tendency to get moldy if you're not careful. Now we're going to want to swill both of these out. And we're keeping a rough eye here on the, um, the microwave. We want to pull it when it's got 10 seconds remaining. Or just shy off, depending on how runny the, the under white is. It's not bad. People eat like raw egg, won't they? Do you know what I mean? Like when they're training. But anyway, there we go. I'm happy to pull it there. That should have a runny yolk now, which is what we hadn't got yesterday, which was like. So, yeah, I can tell that's gonna be a runny yolk straight away. It looks like it's a bit heavy in the middle, so. It looks like it doesn't. It, it's weird how sometimes it does seem to, to have longer in it. Right, that's better for the toast. Nicely toasted, boil it on my fingers. Yo, yo, yo. And we also wanna push this extra veg in here so this is the second batch of pasta that we're having this morning not to eat but just making prepping i'm not having any pasta this morning to eat we've had porridge with agave syrup cinnamon and ginger and chopped banana and this is the second batch of pasta obviously it's not as big a, a bowl to stir in or mix in should i say so you don't really want to be heavy heavy mixing here otherwise it's going to go all over the floor when the volume of the space you're mixing in is small, you don't want to use a heavy hand because you're just going to have to pick it up off the floor. But here we have basically one batch of very tasty tea. And I did get some mints, so I got, um, I got some 25% fat beef mints from Aldi for like 169 which is the cheapest portion of meat I can really get without it being a leaner, less red meat meat. But I, I don't eat much, so I don't mind having it. This was to keep the budget low. I even got a candle. I got like a Yankee candle. Because I like to put a candle in the bedroom. And the last one's ugh, I'm chucking this away because the mixing area was small. Anyway, that'll go there for now. Um, oh, I put that in for another full minute, didn't I? So that's not going to be 
what I want now. See what that's what happens when you're doing more than thing, one thing at once. At the end of the day, it's just eggs. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be eight. It's still going to be enjoyable. It's just whether or not you've got a runny yolk and such like. And I've loads of dishes to come into tonight unless I can crack on quicker and do this. But anyway, how can I get you more views? And uh, maybe if I stick something behind, I can semi them. Where there's a will, there's a way. That is a big spoon like that, sitting behind that way, and the phone stand sitting on top of it. Thinking on my feet. Thinking on my feet. If you're interested in how we started the day off, woke up, realised I was awake, could hear the alarm going, felt quite tired, and the body saying, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then I kick in in my mind, or let's say the Holy Spirit kicks in for us and says, yo, 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 or something to that to that extent. And I say, um, morning, Jesus, morning, Father, morning, Holy Spirit. Not always in that order, normally it's morning, Father, morning, Jesus, morning, Holy Spirit. However, um, I then basically jump up out of bed, jump on my hands and knees, and hand over my life and my will uh, to God. So in that place... I feel like whatever God's got in store for us, I can I can cope with it. Um, I'm going to stand firm and then stand firm again. I ask him to make a, a beautiful sin offering with my living sacrifice. And I, uh, I put on the full armour of God and ask for a pair of protection to help us stand firm and stand firm again. If you're not sure what the full armour of God is, it's the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, the shield of truth, the belt. Of the, uh, sorry, the belt of truth, the sword of the spirit, and to fit your shoes with the readiness of the power of the gospel, to help you stand firm and stand firm again from every fiery dart of the enemy. And fiery darts of the enemy are his schemes and his plans to try and cancel your heavenly calling, to try and tempt you and pull you away in whichever way he's able. And he has many tricks up his sleeve, but if you have faith and you take heart and you put on the full armor of God, He's, um, he's um, impotent to hinder omnipotent love. Omnipotent love to anyone who doesn't know is um, all encompassing, all powerful love. To anyone who doesn't just know what the Bible says about God's being omnipotent, it says he's omniscient, omnipresent, and omni omnipotent. So. He can see everything, he can hear everything, he knows everything, and he is everywhere. You know, that's it in a nutshell. If I'm making any mistakes here, it is early, and this isn't like rehearsed. I haven't read this specific part of the Bible any time recently. I just have knowledge from the... What happens when you read the Bible regularly or you listen to it is you just end up, like, you know, knowing stuff because it goes in. The word becomes in you. Um, it's alive and active and sharper than a two-edged sword. It separates flesh from spirit. So that ego, that running narrative that tries to pull you away from God's plans and tries to make you serve self instead of serving the kingdom, um, it has less power because the word is greater and the Holy Spirit can activate whatever is in you. Um, it's pretty exciting things, pretty exciting stuff. Right, so there we have American eggs flopping out, almost like an omelette look, and we do have some runny yolk on there, which is pretty cool. So I'm not sure how many timing worked exactly, but it did. It did work, and I'm grateful. So, might look a bit messy as I'm doing it there, but that's cool. We don't have all day. We are actually wanting to get somewhere at a time that's that's working. And what I normally do to start with drinking wise, because there are loads of options, aren't there? I think I'm going to go green tea this morning, um, and just ignore the, the desire for a coffee. But I'll drink just boiled water to start with to get the digestive system in. And then we'll have a green tea with the breakfast itself. Um, this is make sure this is all mixed up. And then what I'm going to need to do is get some of these things like dry so that I can plate up stuff to take to work. I'll chop up. Tub up stuff that I can take away. Right, let's get a green tea on the gun. We actually 
actually had like a greener banana in the porridge this morning, which still went quite well. I, I read once that it's something to do with the, the way when, when they're greener, they, they do something better for your body, and it could be right, it could be wrong. There's something that, that is still in the banana construct that's particularly good for you. I also had some feedback from my client yesterday that they prefer less music in the vlog. So, maybe quiet background, but certainly nothing that's distracting from what's being said. So, I can receive that. We'll give it a go. If you prefer less music than what we've been doing previously, then, you know, I can try that for you. We're going to go with a bit of barbecue sauce today for a change. I quite like chopping and changing when the time is right. And a little bit of basil. And a little bit of chopped parsley. So let's take this basil here. We'll take our nice cup with us when we go so that we can have hard water. Remove the things that are going to get in the way, out of the way. See the iPad alarm going off there in the background. We have numerous alarms just in case because it's happened in the past when I've been kind of working less efficiently but very, very hard um, that I've wanted to sleep through things. And when it comes to the care job, I'm not I'm not willing to to be late. Uh, I don't want any problems. What happened with the phone was unavoidable. The officers were amazing. I just let them know what's going on, and they accommodated absolutely amazingly. And I'm so grateful because I love this job. I love the company. I've been given an opportunity to really get a new calling in life. It complements every other aspect of my life. And despite the fact that I can get very stressed with people who are particularly kind of like stubbornly not bothered about others type of thing, like in driving situations normally is the worst. Um, I do I do care a lot about people, and when nobody's nobody's kind of like deliberately. Effing you off, so to speak, just having no consideration and effing you off. Um, I love, I love human interactions with everyone. I do find often, at least the last and the lost, are people who have a bigger heart to receive the kind of love and kindness that I've got. Like they want that. Oh, the iPads in here. Excuse the mess. Like it's a real mess in here. The blinds need fixed because the the um, cables come out and it's a funny setup and I don't want to damage anything. This it's, it's just like a, an organization dumping ground, like um, almost like a um, desk basically because I don't need to lie down on it. That's a similar thing. So it just it, it's clean. It just needs tidy. Do you know what I mean? It's it's something that I've been like doing life so much that it's not been necessary. Got the green tea on here. We're going to tub up it in just a moment. So, uh, here we go. There we go. Nice, simple American eggs. Food for the fridge to eat soon. And food for work. I'm going to clean these dish uh, dishes and then tub up for work. Have me green tea, have me breakfast. Get cheap. Work. Sort this hair out, this mop out, my word. Thanks so much for being on this journey, for joining the new channel. I'm so grateful for you. Have a great day. Have a great week. God bless you. Oh, it's the weekend. It's Saturday. It feels like Monday. What's going on? These need to be potted.
They're not growing so efficiently right now because I don't think there's the root space. I need to get them repotted. Love you.